What's up, GDF fam? Okay, so I am back with another video. So go on ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn my notifications on. And if you're not a part of the GDF fam, I want y'all to please join the family. I welcome you. Also, if you're not uh, subscribed to my Walking in Promise vlogs, my second channel, my vlogging channel, please go and subscribe. Okay, you guys, as you can see by the title, this is going to be a very serious video. Um, it's a very, very uh, uh, complicated subject, but... A very popular one popular one so the title is this is another steamy topic you guys and the topic is do you think when a person cheat on you do they deserve a second chance <sighs> okay so it's very very tricky you guys because my thing is this um, I can only speak from my own personal experience, okay? When I was in a 19-year marriage, I was cheated on repeatedly, okay? Now, some people might say, why would you stay in that marriage? Why would, why would you just didn't leave? Why you just didn't leave? Well, I did leave. I left, but I didn't divorce him. Um, we wasn't living in the same house. Okay, I did leave, um, but at the same time, when I said I wanted to marry him, when we married each other. It was a actual, I it was an actual uh, 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 loyalty came with it. With for, for for me, I am a very strong believer in marriage. So when I got married, I didn't get married to get divorced. Number one, and <clears throat> I do know that marriage. As well as relationships, period. Boys and boyfriend and girlfriend. People doesn't, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and relationships. They have ups and downs. They have ups and downs. They have, you know, uh, things that they go through. And you just don't stay together for twenty to thirty years if you walk out on the first problem or the first incident that y'all come across. Now I know infidelity is a huge sense of betrayal. Especially when you're saying you love someone or they love you. It's like everything you said is a lie. You, you begin to doubt everything they ever told you, everything they ever said. But something on the inside keeps saying, but I want my family. I want my family to stay together. I don't want to have to raise my children by myself. Even though I know I can, I don't want to because that wasn't the plan. Okay. So you endure some things. You put up with some stuff. You you not you know you be like well, we could work on it, but you got to really show me that you want to fix it. You know, me I was kind of like dumb in love. I'm gonna say dumb in love because I took a whole lot more than most would have. Okay. But the question is, do you think they deserve a second chance? I'm gonna say yes, I do. I do believe they do. I mean, it depends on the individual. I, I will forgive them. Yes, I will forgive them of their indiscretion. I would. I mean, now to stay in that situation, that's a total different thing. Um, if you forgive and then you say, I forgive you, but we, we can't be together. Because it'll never be the same. You know, I'll never be able to trust you again. See, some people have the heart to let go. And just, for real, for real, just let go. And start all over again and, and wipe the slate clean. Like our Lord Jesus. And some people, it's like, well, I forgive you. I do. But I forgive you to up to to this point. Like... I forgive you, but I trust you to cheat on me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, until now, up until before we got here, I trusted you 100%. You know, you was clean. I, I knew you wasn't going to cheat on me. But until you proved me wrong, so now I do forgive you for doing it. I won't treat you mean or be bad to you or be mean to you. But I, I, I trust you now to cheat on me. My trust is different now. It's not the same as it was before when 
when you didn't cross me or I didn't, you know, we didn't do nothing wrong to each other. You didn't do nothing wrong to me. You know, you didn't give me a reason to, for it to be, con for my, my trust to be contaminated. You feel what I'm saying? So, I honestly believe that um, it depends. It really do depends on the situation. It do depends on the person. It depends. With me, I, I, I forgave over and over and over, but it was hard for me to trust but because I loved him as much as I did, I was willing to pretend it never happened. You know, like, well, no, I take that back. Let me, I, I was willing to say we can work on it. Like we can work on it. And me, I, I'm different. I was a different type of person. I, you, 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 you burned my trust. So now I need you to rebuild it. And how you rebuild it is not giving me any any reason or any error, any room to even think that you're doing anything that you weren't supposed to do. You know, you leave the house, I expect you to let me know you're leaving the house. I expect you to text me and tell me, baby, I'm going here and I'm with the guys, whatever. You know, I, I that, that check-in kind of thing. You know, like, because you don't want to say, I'm going to the pool hall with my homeboys and then a homegirl come and knock on your door and say, oh, I seen Ricky at, um, at Tina them house or at uh, Bobby house, but that ain't what he told me. He told me he was going, you know, such such place. So, you know, it's like just to keep the devil out of it. I mean, it, it, it's it's a whole lot to go along with this, you guys. I I can't even explain it because it is an individual situation. Now, I do want to say this. That was when I wasn't saved. Now, before I gave my life to Christ. Now, I do believe in forgiveness. I do believe in second chances because I think about it. I'm human. They're human. And if you made a mistake, the question is, would you want them to forgive you? And would you want them to give you a second chance? Like, we mess up every on a, we mess up on a daily basis when it comes down to God. And if God holded us to everything that we done, there's no way we'd be able to make it into heaven. If he hold it, whatever we done against us. So my thing is, if you want God to show mercy on you and forgive you and start you over with a clean slate like it never happened, then we should be willing to do the same for the next person. That's all I'm saying. We should be willing to do the same. And I know that's easier said than done, especially when you come and dealing with the with the heart. Um, but but you know. Y'all leave me down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about this title. Um, is it, does a person deserve a second chance if they cheat? And cheating, you guys, could be more than just laying down and being intimate with somebody, having uh, sexual relations or quality time with someone. It could be, cheating could be, with women, it could be an emotional attachment to another man that's not your husband. You know, it could be, you know, like, 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 let me change it. Not like, um, you know, your brother, like I love, you love your brother. No, I'm talking about texting in appropriate Texas and you married or you got a boyfriend. That can be cheating. I mean, you got to think about, and it's vice versa with the men. So you got to think about how would you feel if you found out that the person you was with or somebody that you was dealing with, even if you ain't in a relationship right now, but if you was in a relationship, put yourself in that place. How would you feel if you found out that the person that you was with was doing the same thing? Would you like it or would you not like it? That's how you know if it's right or wrong or not. That's how you know if it's something that you would do and never do something that you wouldn't want nobody else to do and that goes vice versa that's for warriors and warriors out there i mean you know for all of the men and ladies out there you feel what i'm saying so yeah y'all this was just a lovely topic that just popped up in my head you feel what i'm saying so i wanted to just address it and uh yeah so i love you guys um like i say uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this channel, the Living with Tanika channel. Also, subscribe to my Walking in Vlogs channel. The uh, link will be in the description box below. Leave me a comment, let me know how what y'all think about this. And uh, to all my golden words out there, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise, promise of God for your life. And um, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Bye bye.